Hello. This video is about murder. Mine. My name is Ian Forrest. I am a UK citizen, an established author of many published books, and also an investigative reporter, especially of the truth. Over decades I have been a victim of injustice, foul play and corruption. I have reported a great deal of my findings in seven of my published autobiographies, alongside many other publications. Indeed, therefore, I am a whistleblower, yes, but one who is working for nearly all UK citizens to stamp out encouraged corruption within our former beautiful country. Over a long time now, I have reported this situation to Prime Minister Johnson, Home Secretary, and Natalie Michael Gove MP. The response has been to encourage the attacks upon me that clearly come from the legal judicial system, which is embedded into the government and with its tentacles of fear, threats and bribery, bribery dominate satellite supporters such as the NHS, local councils, bodies, even such like the Citizens Advice Bureau and Shelter. Formidable operators of corruption, formidable opponents. Clearly, some time ago, the pace was accelerated in the need to eliminate me. I was churning out too much truth with detailed exposure of why the dishonest, cheating betrayals are carried out behind our backs. They want it hidden, of course, for the status quo to continue, alongside their greed. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, as they say. And so far, so far, I have survived what has been thrown at me and intensified just recently as my truth finds out more. Let me give you a short summary of what has been ranged against me. One, it starts with a well-worn copy of Stasi-style practice of the East German communist regime. This consists of isolating and victimization through fracture of all relationships past and present, achieved through constantly spreading lies, damaging property, cutting off and stealing victims' funds, blocking social contact and bringing fear into their lives. Two, like China, using betrayal and cheating, the use of power to make the victim, victims disappear, twice with independent evidence. My surgery tried to declare me mad and to be snatched away to the gulag of a mental home, where I'd never be seen again and all my possessions stolen. This from one's own GPs. Three, as a vulnerable old person in need of home care, the law under Care Act 2014 states quite clearly a combination of my surgery and the local council are responsible for providing this. In well over six months now, both refuse to take any action, with the obvious intention of my suffering and accelerated death. It just so happens that about six, five to six months ago, there was outrage when a poor young Arthur and two other youngsters were killed by their guardians. This would make 
those responsible beyond the guardians to be locked up and the key thrown away. That situation also applies to the old and vulnerable. And I have pointed this out towards all concerned, including Johnson, Home Secretary, Priti Patel at the moment, and now Gove MP. The perpetrators do not like that. The main difference between the Arthur case and mine is simply, for me, I have been denied my rightful entitlement of social care and wider health. This involves quite a number of identifiable, identifiable persons who, not least, have broken the law to become part of the wider attack upon me as a power. Organised and controlled by the legal system. My exposures for the truth, meanwhile, physical resilience and survival, started accelerated action against me. And so, we come to number four. Largely failing in those attacks above, they then tried to assassinate me. Unsuccessful from bungled killing through my mistaken identity. With an address almost identical to mine across the road, a poor innocent old man, similarly with a walking stick, was shot twice through his window. He was hit in the arm and shoulder and luckily survived. But destination unknown. There were 12 policemen in attendance in, in the end who provided witness to much of what happened. There is no doubt that the shot man was completely innocent from a number of people who knew him well and the circumstances. And the very plausible ex explanation is that there was a hit squad, two foreigners most likely, who came down from London. They would not have received information from the almost empty block, but would have been confused by the similarities. Bizarrely, it has been strongly hinted by, the, by one of those ranged against me that indeed I am the target. Apparently two detectives are trawling the area trying to find it. Five. Well, a few question marks here. I will just have to wait to find their next murderous move. So I move on to six. Surely the truth is indivisible, factual and so morally important. Yet so many bodies and persons in this country are dedicated to removing it, so that their power airbrushes out the universal basic standard of honesty. In my millions of words of truthful evidence, history, as a victim and exposure, exposure, sorry, nothing has been denied nor challenged. Meanwhile, they are working on the basis that so many powerful bodies and persons only, claiming that I must be mad, and therefore universally I cannot be believed. I hope that you will cast all that aside and please concentrate upon the disappearance of justice, honesty and genuine care to be replaced by self-interested corruption, which is a pandemic cancer in our midst. Alongside this video, I have done others with more specific detail, NHS, waiting lists and funding, human rights, postmasters, and more to come. I cannot end without comparing the unaccountable, dedicated power of Putin to crush opponents to his will 
by all means possible. With what is being exercised against me and the people of this country. It is easy to overlook the comparison, but when you analyse it, there is so little difference. We have the opportunity to get rid of this scourge through people power, to replace the current corrupt regime. I have laid all this out before you. Thank you for watching and listening. Goodbye.